Hello everyone, my name is Chef Taz. I'm here to teach you a quick and easy pasta recipe which you can use to feed your family over the festive period. We start with the ingredients. You take um, your tomatoes, onions already chopped. You put them in a frying pan with a bit of oil. We're gonna start off with frying the peppers. It's always best to fry your peppers before you blend them. That's what I always do. You take your garlic and your ginger. Toss it in the frying pan. You take your tomatoes. So you put that in the frying pan and allow it to come to a boil. You let it fry till it's very soft and tender. So in here, we're gonna put a bit of salt. You've got your mixed herbs, dry mixed herbs. If you have the fresh ones, it's fine as well. You've also got your all-purpose seasoning. You've got your celery and leeks, which I said you could always get from your local vegetable sellers in the market. This gives it a bit of a natural taste. So I just put it in a bit. So, as you can see, it's been frying for about 20 minutes. It's come to a really mushy consistency. I added a bit more of the leek and celery just right now, just to give it another boost. At this junction, I also add some tomato paste. So I add one, two, three. This is going to give it some redness and also some thickness to the paste. So I just allow that to fry as well for another five minutes. You can see we're having a thick paste here. It's almost looking like some fried stew. This is exactly what we're looking for. So once this has fried for a bit, we allow it to cool down and then toss in the blender for the final blend. As you can see here, you've got a creamy tomato blend. So we take that and pour it in the pot for it to cook. So while this is boiling away, we're gonna start with the next step, which will be to boil the pasta. So right here, I've got a pot of water. I'm gonna add some sugar. Sugar is a sweetener, just like salt. I don't know why a lot of people run from it. The moment you mention sugar, it's almost like, how can you put sugar in your food? But hey, salt, sugar, they're both sweeteners. So I put in two cubes in there. I take my salt. What I do, I tend to make the water quite salty and allow the pasta boil in it so that when I'm actually cooking, I don't have to add in more salt. Once your pasta is sweet enough, the amount of salt you put at the end is very little, which always leaves a tingly taste at the back of your mouth. So it's best to season your water with salt and sugar to a salty level before boiling in your pasta. There's a myth that you should always add oil to your pasta while boiling it, but hey, I'm against it. I'm really not for it. I'm not against it but it doesn't really matter. Oil or no oil, it's fine. The most important thing is when it's ready, cool it down in water and then toss in oil. That's the most important one. This I will be using for my chicken breast and sausages. So add a bit of my complete seasoning to the chicken. A bit of dry chili flakes. Well, not too much since you've already got some pepper in the tomato toss. I've got the mixed herbs, dry mixed herbs, put in there. I'm not going to be adding salt because the complete seasoning already has a bit of salt. The next time I'll be adding salt would be when I want to finish up both the pasta and the chicken at the same time. So I'm going to allow this to fry for a bit. Let me turn up the heat. And the water is boiling. It's almost coming to a boil. I'm going to take on the sausages. These are regular sausages you buy from your supermarket. You can cut it in any shape. Doesn't really matter. I'm going to have it a bit long as against round and circles. I just want something a bit different. And I also add to the chicken got two more left here. I might be using them later on, but let's just leave them here. Toss that up. You really don't want
one, the chicken dry. Once it comes to, you can see that the color has changed from it being raw. Remember, it's still going in the tomato sauce, so you don't want it dry and crunchy. You still want your chicken juicy, soft, and melt in the mouth. So at this point, I'll be turning off the burner. Let me take down the heat, rather. There. I've got my water boiling here, so I'm going to toss in my pasta. The amount of pasta depends on what you really want and how many people you're trying to feed. What I have here is going to feed at least two people conveniently. So, I have my chicken and sausage here boiling. I also have my pasta. Pasta, macaroni, spaghetti, you know, shell, whatever type of pasta. Pasta basically is, I know I, I, I tend to hear a lot of people say pasta or spaghetti, but guess what? Spaghetti is pasta. Macaroni is pasta. So whether you have your macaroni, which is your shell, your spiral, your curve, any shape really, they're all forms of pasta. Spaghetti is a form of pasta. So at the same time, you, meaning that you can also use spaghetti for this particular dish. It's up to you. Whatever you fancy, it's fine really. So right here, we've got our chicken and sausage sizzling away. I think I can turn it off now because I really don't want it too dry. And in here, put in the pasta. Pasta usually takes about five minutes. And yeah, I heard a lot of people say pasta or spaghetti. When you ask them, what would you like? What sort of pasta? They say, no, I want spaghetti, I don't want pasta. But guess what? Spaghetti is pasta. So you have your macaroni, your spaghetti, your shell, your curve, your penne like I have in here. They're all forms of pasta. They're just different names. Basically the same ingredients, just, just different names, different shapes, different sizes. I guess it's just the way to just tickle our fancy so you don't have, assume you're having the same thing all the time. You just tend to change what you're having. So I'm gonna allow my pasta boil to be al dente. Al dente means you just want it just a bit soft enough but still a bit hard. Because guess what? Even when your pasta is cooked and it's taken out of the water, there's still some heat process going in there which still makes, softens it. So you just want it soft enough so that when you leave it to sit, it's still cooking and it will get soft, just enough, the right consistency. So we're gonna leave it to boil for five minutes. You could time it or you could just always check on it whenever. I guess checking on it every other time is actually ideal. So that's what we'll be doing today. While the pasta is boiling, the chicken and sausage are ready. We deal with the chicken breast. So you get a non-stick frying pan, preferably. You've got your rosemary leaves. You have your garlic. I let it fry a bit just to get the flavors out of the garlic and the rosemary leaves. Then we take the chicken breast, remember that? Put it in the frying pan. Shallow frying, remember please, not deep frying. Back to our pasta while that is frying. This has probably done five minutes. We take that and you strain it al dente. I don't know if you can see the white round line in there. That's what al dente is. So it's soft on the inside, on the outside, and still a bit hard on the inside. So I'm gonna take it down now with a bit of room temperature water, which is basically tap water, so that your pasta doesn't get too soft. We check on the chicken. Add a bit of salt to it, your mixed herbs, and we cover it again. So in here, my empty frying pan, you put in your tomato sauce, chicken and sausages, toss them all oil in there with the oil, remember? I've got my chicken and my sausages, back to my complete seasoning. I call it complete seasoning because basically it's a mix of everything. You've got your salt, your spices, it's got a bit of garlic and ginger in there. It's just complete seasoning for me. You could use any brand, like I say. So you put a spoon in there. It's all to taste, really. And then you throw in your pasta. So I'm sure you can see that the tomato sauce isn't too thick. But we would add a bit of water just so that it would allow it to simmer as against getting burnt. So while that is simmering, I've got a green pepper here. I sprinkle on top. I lower the heat and I dish onto my plate. Remember our chicken breast? So you can see it's slightly brown, it's not burnt, just okay. I put it over here on the chopping board and I slice. 
And so I just take it with my knife and I place on my pasta. And there you go. So there you go. A quick and easy pasta dish for you and your family to enjoy over this holiday, especially today being Boxing Day. So as you sit down to unbox your gifts given by your loved ones, please do make sure to have this quick meal. Happy Boxing Day everyone and Happy New Year in advance. Thank you.